Hi guys, and welcome to day 17 of the sketchbook challenge, and the last day of the sketchbook challenge. I'm really proud of myself for not giving up and keeping posting even though I missed a few days. I, um, I wanted to make 21 videos this month, but I could only make 17, which is still not bad. That's still like 17 more videos than I posted last month, so there's that. <laughs> so I am proud of myself for actually finishing it and never giving up even though I missed a day. I had to take a couple of sick days and then my internet crashed. And with this one, I didn't post Friday because I just couldn't finish the painting on time and I wanted this to be a good painting. I really wanted to do my best with this. So I'm excited to get to a uh, schedule on YouTube where I can still take my time and make my videos um, more interesting. <laughs> I, I feel like I've got the, um, the process down a little better now. I'm used to recording and everything, but I do want to be more creative with it. I want to try more creative angles and um, more details and stuff like that and I just want to make bigger pieces and also have the quality not suffer because I'm trying to do it in a short amount of time. So I am excited about that. I'm still not sure which day of the week that I'll be posting but I will be posting regularly. <laughs> I think I can handle one or two videos a week now. I'm also really excited about Mermaid. I did it last year um, but I didn't do all of... I didn't paint a mermaid every single day last last year of May, and um, I'm really looking forward to it this year because I have a lot more time now, so that's a goal of mine. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, this painting is a painting of a forest scene and some Kodama, which are from Princess Mononoke, which is another Miyazaki film, and I really, really love that movie so much. And uh, Kodama are basically little tree spirits. They're like really lucky and super cute, and they're adorable, and I, I love them so much. So as soon as I realized that I wanted to do something from Princess Mononoke. I knew I wanted to do Kodama because they're so adorable <laughs> and I, I just love them. And I had so much fun with this and it turned out better than I thought it would. I'm glad that I I, I tried it. <laughs> it's I've never drawn them and I've always wanted to and I'm really glad that I finally got around to it because I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with this one. I started out with a really loose sketch and then just kind of eyeballed it. <laughs> I did use a couple of screenshots from the actual movie as references to try to get the moss as mossy as possible, um, but I'm still, I still have a long way to go I think, which is fine. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm not sure if there's enough contrast in the foreground, but I still had a lot of fun with it and I'm glad that I did it. And I, I love how the little Kodamas look. And yeah, and I'm really happy with the background. I kind I didn't sketch anything in for the background where it's all dark and shady. I didn't have a plan for it. I just kind of went in freehanded and painted some uh, trees in kind of a, a negative painting style, which I've always wanted to tr wanted to try but never have before, and I was really really happy with it. And I guess this is technically a mixed media piece since I did al almost all of it with watercolor, but at the end I went in with some... I tried to use gouache, but it wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be, and I was having a lot of trouble with it. Uh, gouache and I have a love-hate relationship. I really, I like it a lot, but also I can't stand it. So I had to get my acrylics out because I couldn't make the gouache do what I wanted it to do. And I couldn't, I just couldn't get it thin enough and opaque enough. I could get it thin or opaque, but not both at the same time. 
So I did go in with my acrylic paints, and then later on I went in with my Signo Uniball white gel pen to get the last little white details done. So it's, it's technically a mixed media. I did go in with my pencils also, but I think I got most of it done just with watercolor, so I was really happy about that. I really have enjoyed doing this challenge though. It really taught me a lot about how to use my camera and how to edit faster. <laughs> and I got more comfortable making voiceovers, which is a huge deal for me because I have a lot of trouble with my voice. <laughs> and I really appreciate everybody who has been watching my videos. And thank you guys so much if you've followed me and and um, all of the comments that you leave down below. It just makes me so happy. And I'm really glad that I was able to make something that somebody else felt like that was worth watching. That's such a good feeling and I really appreciate you guys. And I'm gonna still make videos. I'm gonna make a lot of videos. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna... I don't know what kinds of videos though. I do a lot of stuff. Um, I do a lot of uh, acrylics and watercolors. And I'll also want to try different mediums also. I've been dying to try oils, and I've got a vacation coming up sometime at the end of May, so I might do a little more vlogging. I tried vlogging once a long time ago, and it was... it. it's not my thing, really. <laughs> it's... Uh, I never think to film things when I'm in the moment. But I really want to, in this case, because I mentioned it before, but my family and I are going to a haunted hotel, probably. So I'm definitely going to be taking all of my cameras, <laughs> including my Polaroid camera, because I think that um, those are awesome when you're ghost hunting. And I happen to have one, so I'm really excited. Ghosts are my favorite thing ever. And I want to do more spooky paintings, because those seem to be my more popular ones. And also, I just didn't enjoy doing them so much. I really, really love them. And they're so difficult to get right, <laughs> because, you know, if you, if you go too far with it, it can get kind of cheesy. But also, I want it to be kind of, you, you know, really, really spooky and just kind of jump out at you. But I'm really excited about doing more of those, and hopefully I'll be able to get some really cool footage from this haunted hotel. So if you guys would be interested in stuff like that, then let me know for sure. And I'm really happy to because now that I have a YouTube channel, it kind of documents my process for me. So it's easier for me to see the progress that I've made. And I feel like I'm making progress, and I'm... I'm just, I feel good about it. <laughs> uh, somebody did ask for a, uh, or they had mentioned a, uh, like a graveyard with tombstones kind of tutorial, so I'm probably going to be doing that sometime in the near future because that sounds like so much fun to me. Um, but I have to design it first and make sure that it's something that I know how to paint before I try to teach others how to paint it, if that makes any sense. So I'll be working on that and, uh, yeah, that should be coming out soon because... Now that April's over, I have more time to work on um, bigger paintings and everything. I've mostly just been working in my sketchbook all month, and I did manage to finish two larger paintings at the same time, but I have really been slacking on actual finished pieces, so I'm going to get back into that. I also think that I would probably have more luck painting Kodama with acrylics. <laughs> I I might try that. I have a I have a uh, K2 
canvas that's kind of damaged that I, I want to paint over. So I'm, I'm probably going to try that and see if I have more luck with it. I like how they look here, but I think I can make them more glowing if I can use my acrylics. So I'm probably going to try that. Also the moss in the foreground, I think that could be more layered. I really... The, there wasn't enough uh, shadows, I don't think, but when I turn the painting upside down, it looks a lot better to me for some reason. Uh, it looks like there's more depth. Maybe it's just because I've been looking at it too close up and I can't see what it actually looks like anymore, but I really like the way it looks when it's upside down for some reason. I feel like there's definitely a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. And I really like how it looks, but when I flip it upright, it, it looks like there's not as much contrast. But like I said, if I put it away and then go back to it in a couple of days, it'll probably probably look brand new to me and I'll probably really like it. Um, but I do really like how it came out and I love painting trees. I'm really happy with that tree that uh, the little Kodama are climbing on right now. They're... Uh, they're so cute and and I love how soft the tree looks so I did manage to succeed a little bit and I want to paint more forest scenes like this it was a lot of fun So all in all, I'm very happy with how this challenge turned out and thank you guys so much for watching my videos because it really means a lot to me and I n never thought that I would have people who weren't my family watching them so that really really tickles me so much and I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna leave all of my uh, information in the description box below along with all the materials that I used to make this. And if you guys want me to paint these again in acrylics, <laughs> uh, just let me know because I do want to paint stuff that you guys are interested in seeing. And uh, yeah, because I'm never sure like with the, the Cat Returns and all the Miyazaki movies, it's, it's a very narrow audience. So if you guys still want to leave any suggestions, then please feel free to. And if I ever have trouble coming up with an idea for what to paint, then I'll be happy to use some suggestions. So I'll leave all the information down below and I guess I'll leave it to the music now. <laughs> Since I think I'm I'm kind of out of things to say, I'm I'm all talked out. I just really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.